Spirit, Soul, Body, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and yet our spirit, soul, and body is to live in God. Wow. Welcome to Reformation and Revival Now. This is Brother Kevin, and I'm very excited to bring to you um, our uh, Spiritual Life series. This is number seven, and this is the functions of the Spirit. Now, we're going to talk about uh, the first and most predominant part of the functions of, the, of your Spirit, which is worship. And this is important because all the others really come in behind this or are built on the foundation of worship whether it be revelation, whether it be intuition, or whether it be discernment, and any of the ones that we, talk, that we will be talking about, this is the foundation. So let's go ahead and get into what I believe to be one of the most important things that you could learn as a Christian. Worship, revelation, discernment, intuition, communion these are the functions of the spirit but today we're going to talk about function number one out of your spirit and that is worship now when you think about worship the first thing that comes to our mind is is more of a ceremonial uh, thing something we do maybe in our private life or when we meet together uh, once a week with the other saints and we worship God and whether you're in a more formal worship as this one is, or maybe a more charismatic type of free worship, it's still ceremonial. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, we should always participate in ceremonial worship. But here's the thing about worship that is so special. Worship must first come from inside. That's the thing that really makes true worship stand out. Jesus says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So the way we worship is first inward. Do we love God and do we live totally for him? Because that's the giveaway of a born again life. You're no longer centered on yourself, but you are centered on God. And just to make things clear, this is your life. Your life is worship. You were redeemed for worship. And this is the function and the primary function of your spirit to live for his pleasure, to live for his praise, to live for his worship 24 hours a day so that when you do ceremonial pr ceremonially praise him, whether it's corporately or in your private life, it's still coming out of that secret place that Ezekiel 36 talks about, a new heart and a new spirit. Oh, this is so wonderful. You have the power, the grace to praise God. And Jesus receives it. He looks forward to it. He loves it. So before we go to the break, don't pay attention so much to the different styles in which people worship, but rather the heart, because that's what's behind your ceremonial worship. And that's what's behind all the deeds that you do. So we're going to go ahead and take a little break. And when we get back, we're going to talk about other issues of worship that I think you will appreciate.
What? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? That's right. We are the temple of God. We are His building. In whom the whole building, being fitted together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord in whom you are also being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. You yourselves as living stones are being built into a spiritual house for a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. We are born again into an everlasting priesthood, not a temporary one like the tribe of of Levi. Your spirit loves to worship and longs to do so. And Jesus and all of heaven, they love it too. Worship is the ultimate thing that we do in word and deed. Our spirits long for that holy romance. It's the place where revelation and the prophetic are released. This is something you're going to find out. When we start talking about the last book of the Bible, Revelation, that's the whole agenda. But you need to know, saints, that this is why you were created. For thou art holy who inhabits the praises of Israel. God inhabits our worship. He inhabits our praises. Not only does he reveal himself to us, both personally and corporately, but he also, when we worship, reveals himself to those who do not know the Lord because the glory of God is revealed through our worship. So I want you to start looking at things a little differently. God made your spirit to worship. This is the highest agenda in Revelations chapter 4 and 5. Before any seals are opened and for, before any trumpet or any sort of judgments are released. Worship is the tallest order. Worship is what it's all about. We don't go to church. We are the church. The bride of God. Christ and you know what that's our destiny bride of Christ come on worship the Lord because that's why you were born again into this everlasting kingdom give to the Lord Jesus what belongs to you out of your spirit now that you can see that we were built for worship I want you to get ready as we go into the other functions of the human spirit I'll see you then. Bye-bye.